I've come to Nepal six months on to see what's being done to help people rebuild their lives. My name is Amanda, yeah. and your name? Where were you when the earthquake happened? She was inside the house. You were inside the house? Yeah. 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 So this is Sarita and her children's house, but it's been devastated by the earthquake, and so now they will have to stay in the chicken shed, and the idea that Sarita and her two exquisite children have had to go through all of this. It's, it's completely heartbreaking, really heartbreaking. We're flying over a really remote countryside. This gentleman who has lost everything, he's just told me um, that, that yes, he did get some aid in order to temporarily build this, um, but he he's frightened for the future because he's of a certain age and he feels that everything that he's worked for is gone. They have built a temporary learning centre here for the children so they can carry, carry on their education whilst everything is being rebuilt. And that's another thing that World Vision have, have done a lot of. Hello! Namaste! This is one of the schools in Bhaktapur where mm -hmm. there are 65 children being helped by World Vision. Uh, World Vision set up a child-friendly space. It's a place where children can be safe and uh, they can play. The children are actually saying that they feel safer in our third temporary learning center rather than their homes. Really? So they rather stay here. I really do hope that people will watch this and, and feel that they can donate. I know that if people at home were here, if, any, if anyone from home came here to see this, then of course they would donate, of course they would. You couldn't not, because we have so much more, all of us do, than these people. <laughs>